Can you hear that right now? so excited to bring this neat tip to you. It's one of the most amazing things that I've ever discovered and I have to give all the shout out props to my good friend Katie for inspiring this amazing discovery. So um, all good things come from moisturizing your skin, right? And on a natural beauty kick, uh, a lot of people are into coconut oil, myself. Also, I usually just use it as a moisturizer in my hair, like I'll tie it all up in a bun and then wash it out like a few hours later. This is a great tip for when you're like tanning um, or like laying by the pool or just relaxing and having a, a really mellow day off. Put your hair up in a bun, coconut oil, or even before you go out for a long run, put it in French braids with coconut oil in it, run, and then when you get back, you shower and you've got really moisturized hair bonus tip for you but the tip that I want to bring to you right now is about coconut oil on your skin so because I've been spending a lot of time in the Sun my skin gets really dry from like the pool water and like ocean or just dry from being more like exposed to the Sun so I like to give it TLC and put coconut oil on it I use this one from Trader Joe's but you can use any kind this is just cheap and who doesn't love Trader Joe's the thing is, is it has kind of a funny odor. It doesn't smell bad. I mean, coconuts smell good, but sometimes I don't want to walk around smelling like coconut water. I don't know. It's good to have the option, right? So my latest favorite discovery, which is like the most amazing thing in the whole world, it, this is what I do. I'll show you. I take my ring off first and the hair tie. Very important. We're going to get good and ready for this. What I do is I use coconut oil and I put a few drops or rolls or whatever we're going to use of perfume in my hand before I do it and I rub it together and then your skin smells majestic it smells really good and the perfume isn't too overwhelming excuse me I have hiccups um obviously you could use too much so like use a light hand I keep my perfume in my bathroom counter um in this wooden basket or most of my roller balls I have a few like um spray perfumes not that many um, I'm pretty cheap, so I always end up buying these little roller balls. So I thought we would do this together. So here's my collection of perfumes and like chapsticks and stuff. And I think I'm gonna go with, mm, I have a couple Pacifica perfumes, but they're not my favorite. Should we go in, let's go all in. This is a pretty strong one. I usually do like a philosophy scent. Um, this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. It's a little rollerball. So this is what I do, is I take, open the coconut oil jar, take your perfume, and I love perfumes and when I'm, you know, I don't know, I just love them. So I usually use a heavy handed amount. So only use what you'd like. And if you wanna use more natural perfume like Pacifica, as opposed to an alcohol based Elizabeth and James, go right ahead. Oh, oh my God, I'm already excited. So then I take the palm of my hand and I rollerball the Dickens out of it. You can see it's wet right there. And then I take a scoop out of my coconut oil jar like that, put it right in there and rub them together. Then you can go up your arms, down your legs, everywhere, whatever you wanna do with it. I wouldn't suggest putting perfume in the everywhere place by the way, it's not really healthy. Love your body for exactly how it is, people. Um, but you can put coconut oil wherever you want. And this ends up mm, being a beautiful, gently scented, because it gets a little diffused over the length of your skin or the, you know, the surface area of your skin. And the coconut oil mellows out the perfume smell a little. It's not as strong. Oh my God, I'm gonna put a little in my hair. Why not? moisturize the ends a little bit I can't say enough like since I discovered this tip because uh, my friend Katie told me she just uses like a Trader Joe's jar of coconut oil on her face and her body I have one in the kitchen that I don't use very often but I got this one just for the bathroom because you don't want to dip like your cooking utensils in this and then also put it in your hair or whatever so I try to have a separate one um, and I am obsessed with it I've been using it every day after I shower for probably a good two weeks and I have barely even made like a dent in it. So careful though, after you are covered in coconut oil, when you pick back up the glass jar, your hands can be a little slippery. So 
be careful. Um, I hope you guys liked the tip. Oh, you can switch up all the time what you end up smelling like because you can use any perfume with the coconut oil and have it be a very fancy expensive dupe or an inexpensive dupe for a very expensive Elizabeth and James perfume lotion. So enjoy. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day and let me know in the comments down below what perfume you decided to use with your coconut oil and if you have any other tips or tricks that you like to use for coconut oil in your beauty regime. Taking off makeup, moisturizing, anything is really what the most common ones are, but I had never heard of someone combining it with perfumes. So I was really excited about this. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you, bye. <laughs>